Hey everybody, welcome back to another video, a war video. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, this war video for season eight, uh, the, ooh, the 11th war of the season, going against Infinity Wars. Uh, shit, <laughs> with a C. Uh, trying to get by the uh, Kabam thing. Uh, so I run lane six to lane seven. Um, started off with Hyperion, Captain America Infinity War, Ghost Rider. Uh, trying to figure out who the Cosm could be. I normally don't bring Ghost Rider, and the reason is I usually use a tech champ for the for the pacify portion of uh, Captain America Infinity War. And I didn't think about it then, but it kind of hurt me later on. Um, figuring out who this Cosmic Champ was, I thought it might be Sin Spidey, and it ended up being Symbiote Spidey, uh, Unblockable Special One. So, now I, I'm not the greatest at dodging that Special One. I wish I was better. Uh, I try to do about 70% of the time, but what you've seen there is I did a lot of four hit combos and then hold my block, uh, which kind of lulled the uh, AI to sleep from throwing that special one and was able to bait out the special two at that point, which I can dodge a lot better and was able to finish them off. All right, moving on to the next fight. And the next fight was a four star skill champ and I was thinking hey that's probably going to be um Korg so I kind of went back and forth between Captain America hype and Captain America hype and I think I ended up selling on going with uh Hyperion just because I knew I was going to be using Cap for the next fight didn't want to have to pot up super early if I didn't need to and we did get Korg and as you can see I made some early mistakes so I made I missed the Missed the uh, heavy. Then I backed up too much and I actually put myself in a bad position. I backed myself up into a corner. And so by doing that, I was did not get the second dex on that heavy. But was able to get to my special three and present myself a little bit of space. And then I was trying to dodge that L1. I'm kind of glad I didn't been you know took the block damage from it but that's okay then i was able to maintain the fight as i should have early on uh, by dodging that heavy and then getting back in there when i can launching one special two there trying to dodge the heavy there couldn't do it um but it, or dodge the special one i couldn't do it and then launched another special two able to keep up keep baiting the heavies and then launch three by the third special three he was done now moving on to the uh cosmic champ on the buffet note and this is where having spidey probably would have helped out a little bit one if it's a region champ the region could be could be reversed so he's taking damage that way as well as I'm giving damage the other way. Um, by not having him, I didn't think about it until after I was in the fight. Uh, as you can see, I started off just how I wanted, three hit combo to the face, uh, but then came back pretty solidly. I did make a few mistakes in this fight that I wish I could have had back, uh, but stunning them and not realizing, not paying attention to the timers. Um, for those who don't, don't understand, you know, about the timers for King Groot, uh, he stays stunned longer when he's not, doesn't have his Fury stacked. As you can see there, I kept that in mind at that point. And for a while there, I was doing okay. I wasn't quite doing the damage I wanted to do. And then was able to launch a special two at that point. Didn't crit that, that moment, uh, mainly because I wasn't able to do it with a heavy. Trying to bait him out there there we go really trying to just bait as many special ones as i can from them and there i remember that oh can't do it there because he had furies built and I'm baiting out a special one again and then i did the heavy and i should have launched a special then but i didn't but i launched it there still didn't get the crit i wanted and then I made the mistake and let him miss the hit, let him back up. Got tagged with a special one. Got lucky on a heavy. 
and this fight actually became, got a lot longer than it should have been. It should have been over already. Um, but I made, a, like I said, I made a couple mental errors. I got a few more coming. I did was able to launch another special two. Got a little bit more damage with that one than I was with some of the other ones. And I pushed him all the way to his special two, which instead, of, you know, I just went on ahead and took the block damage from it. But then I take a <laughs> take a five four hit combo to the face before I was able to finish it off. So. Good thing I was able to finish that off uh, without taking too much damage, more damage than I should have had. Um, it wasn't the, this war definitely wasn't one of the cleanest wars I've had. It was uh, definitely, definitely one that was not good for the books. Now moving over to lane seven, had another cosmic champ. I was thinking armor cosmic champ, who could it be? Probably Hyperion, um, only because, I mean, who else would you put there? Maybe Black Bolt, but honestly, end up being Hyperion. Maybe, I, you know, it could have been Angela. Angela probably would have been a bad placement there. Um, if you're not putting something like a Black Panther or a Korg on that node already to begin with. Uh, but here, my, my whole plan was just, hey, let's just uh, bait out as many special ones and special twos as possible um, and get Ghost Rider going, turning off some of his, uh, his abilities uh, with the special one baiting out baiting out uh, special one and special two from him the entire time with five hit combos in the mix and overall wasn't a difficult fight just probably longer than it should have been I mean only because I had Ghost Rider and I'm busy trying to bait out specials and then finally get him down low enough where I launched a special two because even if I don't take him down. I could have had enough to power lock him for a little while and drain him. But that was enough to get him down. Clean fight. All right, then this was the next day. I finally uh, I fell asleep after that fight and then decided to wake up next day, five, full five energy. Move on to the mutant on the snow now normally i see like an ice man or a night crawler here and i wasn't quite sure who i was going to see so i went on ahead and used a, a level three alliance pot just to get back a little energy just in case it was uh somewhat of a difficult champ and it ended up being <clears throat> ended up being domino i was kind of surprised by domino being there but then again i, I wasn't it ended up helping me out um, not having to worry about Nightcrawler or Iceman. Iceman wouldn't have been a, a less of a fight. Uh, and this was an unduped domino, so it made things a little bit easier for myself. And right there, I she didn't block break me. I just was sliding my finger back at, at the wrong moment. So took that uh, <laughs> took that uh, that that light to the face. But I don't think I make too many more mistakes after this point. I, I did try to, I did have a little bit of time baiting out her special too. Um, so as you can see there, she's kind of holding on to it. I'm just trying to bait it out. And I think I thought, yeah, there we go. Finally get her to throw it, got her down to 6% and was able to go in with two more hits to take her down. All right, so moving up on to the final fight of lane seven before the mini. Um, I said, man, a mystic five star on regen. I said, it's probably going to be magic, right? So going with Cap, I think he's doing, I think he's well. I'm, I don't use any pots there. I think he's pretty, pretty healthy to take this fight on. And that's what we get. We get a, uh, get a magic right there on, on arc overload. So start off with a couple of heavies after a parry. And this is where having, having that tech champ would play the benefit because she got a little limbo. She healed back a little bit and had landed those heavy, or landed those parries like I was doing, would have landed the pass fee and would have drained, reversed, healed her versus healing her. Uh, but nonetheless, that fight was pretty quick. As you see, it was 11 hits and I was done with it. All right, so moving on to the mini boss. Um, moving on to, that's right, it was, uh, Six star green goblin on region. Not that I've never faced him there before. Uh, I, first time I faced him there while I've had 
Captain America Infinity War. Normally I see him more on the Buffett node as of late taking this lane. Uh, checking, I still had a boost going. Like I told you, I had some boosts expiring, or I didn't tell you, I had a boost expiring. A couple of boosts expiring, so we went ahead and used it for the war since it was item use event as well. That's right, the start off was, you know, taking some block hits because uh, I didn't get the parry. But did build up those kinetics. Also got the fury going with the heavy. So I was able to do a little bit more damage. And this here, as you can see, he healed himself all the way back up. So I could have had that, had that tech champ on my team like I normally do. Uh, that healing would have been more of a uh, of a reversal. Or at best, would have just kept him where he was at. Or at worst, I guess I should say. And then I accidentally walked into an, L, an L1. Don't ask me how that happened. And I, I kind of like, man, how did I do that? But luckily enough, I didn't get hit with poison on that because that could have been deadly for him. Uh, so I just really get these parries, get these heavies riding with the uh, cap. Then I remember like, oh, wait a minute. This is a power drain node as well. So <laughs> I better build up some more... Uh, some more power on my power bar and, and, and use it here. I'm running out of time. So there you go. So I went ahead and launched the L1. Did three stacks of bleed, as you can see. Hitting him for about 347 a tick on those bleeds with a couple of, with four armor stacks. Didn't take much longer for me to finish them off after that point. So I was able to get through the lane, no deaths. I think I used like three pots total. Um, so it was a pretty solid war. That was the last fight for me. Um, going on to the mini boss, we did end up winning the war. Uh, we This was the next to last war of the season. So war number 11, uh, we had a MODOK mini boss, which I didn't get to touch. And so from there, that is it for me. All right, everybody, have a good one.